Um, one thing is actually this movement towards um, incorporating uh, the value of nature in everything we do. So in, in particularly into the economic sector which I'm involved in. So how do we incorporate you know, the, the value of clean water and the value of um, having habitat and natural beauty and uh, carbon sequestration. So there's actually much more so than 10 years ago the ability to do that and the desire to do that. And that's actually related to the second one, which I think there's been a real sea change in, in um, uh, um, attitudes and um, understanding of what, how we really fit into the biosphere. It's not just humans in an economic sector going off on its own, but we really fit into the biosphere. And unless we have a healthy biosphere, we won't have a healthy social system or economic system. I'd actually like to think of it as a little more positive. So thinking about what happens in your own backyard and not necessarily what happens with a calamity or catastrophe, but really thinking about um, how do you improve upon your neighborhood and um, that the value of your neighborhood is not just the buildings but is the gardens and the, the bees that pollinate the plants and the whole system. So, you know, <laughs> less cataclysmic and catast uh, catastrophe and, you know, more local and positive. Here's my, I mean, I, I, I think oftentimes that uh, catastrophes or crises are needed to get big changes started. Um, I think that's unfortunate in the sense that a lot of catastrophes or crises um, cause a lot of pain that could be avoided. Uh, so in my own country, uh, for years people had been warning that New Orleans would get flooded with the direct hit of a hurricane. Um, and that's a failure of maintaining the wetlands around New Orleans. It's also a failure, frankly, of building in low spots without adequate planning. Um, and so what happened? Katrina hit in 2005, and uh, we had a major catastrophe, a disaster on our hands. We do know enough to stop catastrophes before they happen. So my hope is actually that we, that we actually take action before a catastrophe and a crisis forces us to take action. Well, let me give you a, a hopeful sign that kind of combines this. So the ozone hole in the Antarctic, which was discovered, and actually several Nobel Prize winners who were here in Stockholm this week were given the Nobel Prize uh, for that discovery. I mean, in a sense, it was already a disaster. We had already put up uh, chlorofluorocarbons and other chemicals into the atmosphere that had created the destruction of the ozone. I think of it actually as a hopeful story because it was a fairly short amount of time between that discovery and uh, international agreement that phased out chlorofluorocarbons and other chemicals that destroyed ozone. They did that before ozone holes opened over major populated areas. Um, and uh, you know, here, here's a case where we got an early warning. We got the signal before major damage was done. And we actually had the courage to act uh, before a huge calamity. So, there you go. Yeah. That, that's why I'm wishful. Okay. <laughs>